everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the limit comparison test. So as you can see, the statement is given to us right here. We're going to talk about it in a little bit, but there's also a direct comparison test that you can apply for in proper integral. And whenever the direct comparison test is not applicable, you can use the limit comparison test. So let's take a look at the statement. So if, if we have two positive functions, say f and g, and they're continuous on some interval a to b, and if the limit of f of x over g of x is some number l, where l is a positive real number, then both of these integral f and g either converge together or diverge together. That's what that means. So for example, if you construct a function g, and if that integral converges, and you take the limit of f over g, then f will also converge. Or if you construct this function g and g diverges, and you take their limit f over g is equal to some real number l, then f will also diverge because we know g diverges. So that's really the idea of the limit comparison test. Let's see how this is useful at these two examples. So uh, we're given for the first one, uh, this integral, one to infinity of this function. Let's call this function f of x. So we're going to let f of x be our integrand, which is square root of x plus one over x squared. And we wanna come up with this function g. So let's create an inequality. So you would always do this for direct comparison, but the direct comparison has two statements that holds. And if those two statements fails, then you go with the limit comparison test. I will leave the link for direct comparison test in the description box for you to check it out. So let's set up the inequality. So here's I have here I have my function f, which is square root of x plus one over x squared, and I'm going to put an inequality here. And on the right side, we're going to put this new function. And the way we're going to create that is by looking at the leading term on the denominator, which is square root of x, leading term on the denominator. So I constructed this function just by looking at what I'm given. Now, if you simplify this by laws of exponents, this is one over x to the three halves. All right, so that's what we're comparing it to. So now, what inequality would you put here? Well, for the function f of x, the denominator is greater, and for g, the denominator is smaller, but the denominator is the same. So therefore, f will be greater or equal to g. That's the inequality. Now here, direct comparison doesn't help because if you now integrate this from one to infinity and integrate this from one to infinity, you will uh, you will see that you get, um, a, we know that this converges, but this lies below the one we're looking at. So therefore, direct comparison doesn't help. So we'll have to go with limit comparison. So instead of putting square root of x over x squared, I'm just gonna put the simplified form one over x to the three half. So that's easier to work with. Now, what can I say about this integral? So like we said, this is a convergent integral because this is a P integral. So P integrals are integral of this form from one to infinity of one over x to the P dx. If P is greater than one, which is in our case, three half, then it converges. If it's less than or equal to one, it diverges. Now, we're going to check if the one we're looking at converges or not by doing the limit comparison test. So, so my function g is going to be 1 over x to the 3 half. So I'm going to take the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x over g of x. Now, if this limit is some number l, and if l is greater than 0, finite, of course, so real number, then we're going to say, the, the original integral that we're looking at also converges because we're comparing it with something that converges. All right, so let's see what we get. So plug in f and g. So you have the limit as x approaches infinity of f, which is square root of x plus one over x squared, divided by one over uh, x to the three halves. Now, if you simplify this before taking the limit, you have the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the 3 half times the square root of x plus 1 over x squared. Now again, simplify further by laws of exponent. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity 
these guys can be simplified. So you will have a square root of x plus 1 over a square root of x. And this limit is 1. So it's greater than 0. Checked. So like we said, since the limit is a positive real number, both of these behave the same. So therefore, the integral we're looking at converges. So by the limit comparison test, not the direct, because the direct doesn't help here, uh, the integral we're looking at 1 to infinity of um, square root of x plus 1 over x squared dx also converges. So this is by the limit comparison test. All right, so pause the video and see if you can do the next problem. I'm going to work it out and show you how to do it. So for number two, we want to see whether this will converge or diverge. And we will um, see which test is applicable. For this function, uh, you can use both direct and limit comparison test. Both are applicable. But since the purpose of this video is to explain the limit comparison, I will do it by using limit comparison as well. So here you can do the direct comparison test. You can also do the limit comparison test. So both works. Let's illustrate the direct comparison test. So you compare this with the function. So again, let's call this our f of x. So we have f of x to be 1 over x cubed plus 1. So we create an inequality. We put f right here. And what I'm going to put on, on this side, I'm going to put 1 over x cubed. So I just omit this portion of the denominator. So now I know that my function that I'm given, it's going to be less than or equal to the one I came up with. So now if you integrate this one from 1 to infinity and integrate this one from 1 to infinity, you can see what happens. So this integral, this is also another p integral where p is 3. So greater than 1, so p is 3 greater than 1, so it converges. So we found something that lies above the one we're uh, comparing it to, so that's what direct comparison is good. So you can say that this integral converges by direct comparison test. But let's do the limit comparison. So let's uh, write down our function g right here our g is going to be 1 over x cubed, and we take their limit. So let's take the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x cubed plus 1 over 1 over x cubed. Now again, if this limit is some L positive real number, then we can say that since this converges, this has to converge. They behave the same. So let's see if the limit is a positive real number. So we simplify this fraction we have the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed over x cubed plus 1 by simplifying it. And this limit is 1. So again, we have something positive. So therefore, they behave the same. So now we can say that, therefore, by the limit comparison test, the integral 1 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x cubed converges.